Hi everybody, this is Andy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ansible within a GNS3 environment. It's surprisingly easy. So what we have here is a Linux system. It's actually running Ubuntu. This is the XFCE uh, front end, if you will. Uh, the process will be exactly the same if you're running a Windows machine. Uh, or a Mac OS. Um, and we're taking the simplest configuration here as our example. So the first thing that I want to do is I actually want to start up GNS3. So I'm going to start up GNS3. There we go. This is the usual kind of start landing place that you end up with with GNS3 and it wants you to create a project. We're going to say cancel to that. You will notice that the server is running. This is a local server. So we're not doing a GNS3 VM server. We're not doing a remote server. This is, again, very, very simple and straightforward local server. OK, um, now what we want to do is we want to add the Ansible um, template, if you will, uh, container. It's actually a Docker container. Uh, and we're going to add this to our GNS3 configuration. So to do this, what you need to do first, once you have GNS3 running, is open up a web browser. And let's open up a tab here and go to gns3.com. There we go. And you'll click on Marketplace. And then you want to click on Appliances. Now, in this case, we're going to download a couple of them. The first one that we're going to grab is the network automation appliance. This is actually Ansible. Okay, so we're going to grab this by clicking on it and then download the template. And we want to save the file. You'll do that again in your web browser. Just save it in your downloads directory. Close that. And now let's grab another one. We're going to grab the Ubuntu template as well. So I'm going to download that template and again save the file. OK, great. Uh, so with that done, we can close our web browser. And back here in GNS3, what we'll do is say File, Import Appliance, and you'll notice that the system has already gone to my downloads directory for my user and uh, has found those two appliances that we just downloaded. So we'll take the network automation one first and say open. Uh, you can notice that uh, what we have is a container. Um, it's network automation for GNS3. And we'll say next. And now we're going to run this appliance on our local computer. Uh, if you were running a remote server, maybe you would put the appliance on the remote server, if that's your choice. Um, if you were running a GNS3 VM, then you would select that. Of course, in this case, it's grayed out because I don't have those. So I just want to run the appliance on my local server. Click Next. You'll notice it tells me it's one adapter. And I can finish. And it says network automation is installed. And where we will find this now is in the other uh, stuff, if you will, the end devices. You will now see there's a network automation device. OK, let's not do that quite yet. So let's go back to file, import an appliance. And now let's import that Ubuntu one that we downloaded and say open. And again, just kind of click, click next. Finish, and it says Ubuntu is installed as well. So again, if we go here uh, to the appliances, uh, we will see those listed. There we go, network automation right there, and Ubuntu right there. Now, the first time that you do this, um, you may see that there'll be information in the console as this loads information and actually builds the appliance. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag the network automation into a project, but I have to create one first. So we'll say new project and we'll just call it Ansible test. OK, and say all right. So now we have the Ansible test project. Again, we'll open this up. We'll grab that network automation appliance and just drag it out into the system. And you will notice that it is now there. Again, the first time you do this, you might see a bunch of other information happening here as well. Uh, 
Uh, let's also grab the Ubuntu and we'll put that. Now you'll see in mine here, because uh, it's actually following that process, you'll see that that container will get loaded with a whole bunch of stuff. This will automatically occur. Just be patient. Won't take very long. There we go. It's all done. So we have the network automation appliance. We have an Ubuntu system as an appliance here. Uh, let's connect these. And uh, what we'll do is we'll add maybe just a simple Ethernet switch to the topology. There we go. And uh, we'll use the connector. Connect from Ethernet 0 to the switch and from the switch to Ethernet 0 on the Ubuntu appliance. There we go. OK, so we've built a very simple topology here, and we've now added Ansible right here. Now, let's start up these devices. And we will also, we can put the labels on there if we wish. Um, let's also console to these devices. So we're going to get a console for network automation and one for Ubuntu. All right, so here is our console. And you can see there's the network automation. There's the Ubuntu. So let's do network automation first. Uh, so let's check to see that Ansible is installed. And the way that you do this is you say Ansible tac tac version. And sure enough, we see that Ansible 2.3.2.0 is installed. We also see that Python is installed as well. And as we will uh, learn and, and as we get into in the actual course, um, you'll find out that, uh, you know, of course, a lot of this is Python based, although you don't need to use Python to use Ansible, which is pretty cool. Um, the other thing that you can take a look at here that you should edit um, is let's do a cat to Etsy network and interfaces. And let's show what the contents are of that file. Okay, so I catted to Etsy network interfaces. And you can see here, this is a sample network config. And it says to uncomment the lines to configure the network on this device. So there's two choices. You can either statically configure the device. So you would uncomment this these lines and, uh, and then put the actual address that you want with the particular network mask, a gateway, uh, et cetera, OK? Another way to do this is to simply run DHCP, but you would have to have something like a NAT cloud uh, feeding DHCP uh, into the system, OK? And that will bring Ansible really into the network, and it will be running. Um, the other system, Ubuntu, is also running here. And again, you can do almost exactly the same thing. Let's do a cat to uh, Etsy network interfaces. And you'll see it, basically the exact same file that you can again edit to either be DHCP or, or to statically configure the IP address. And of course, once you do one of those things, these devices will actually be up and running. The cool thing here is that this network automation appliance that is now installed in your GNS3 environment will have the ability to control all network devices like routers and switches um, and configure those devices through network automation. Of course, that's a much deeper subject. And all we wanted to do here was to show you how simple it is to actually configure this uh, into GNS3. So hope that was easy and have fun using Ansible in GNS3.